I show you how to do a C power adapter for Canon DSLR and this is a do-it-yourself project uh, you can see all of the models that have the same battery type so all of them will work with this adapter the main reason why I decide not to buy an original stuff is ridiculous price for it uh, $32 for just a simple power supply isn't a good deal um, all the prices that you can see on the screen is in Polish currency so one dollar is uh, for uh, Polish zloty. Uh, okay, so all you need is a common power adapter with uh, seven and a half volts and minimum one amp. The prices for used adapters are between one and two dollars, so uh, they are very cheap. You can choose uh, eight volts if you want, but then you need to lower the output voltage. Uh, Later I'll show you how to do it. The most important is that it should have one amp at least. Two amps will be just perfect. The best method uh, to lower the voltage from 8 volts to 7.5 uh, volts is to use uh, a shot key uh, diode. Shot key should be in series of your circuit. Uh, the voltage drop will be around 0 0.3 volts. If you need bigger value, you can put two or more diodes in series. This is my power supply from the second-hand uh, market. Uh, it's time to check the output voltage. It is just perfect. And the nominal voltage of Canon power adapters uh, is 7.4 volts. So you can think uh, it is too high. But don't worry. It is just a tiny difference. I shouldn't drop a voltage because uh, it fits well. By the way, it is a chance that a voltage will be uh, lower under the load of camera. Now it is the time to find a broken or useless battery. After a dozens of recharges, uh, you probably wouldn't have problem uh, to choose one. You should cut across the line between the parts of uh, battery cover. Inside is a battery cell. We will only need a printed circuit board for our project. PCB has some SMD elements, so you need to desolder them. I use soldering iron set to the 350 Celsius and use a lot of solder tin. Be sure that you clean all of your short circuit using soldering paste. And here it is, point to point scheme of your new circuit. If you have 7.5 volts power supply like me, you don't need a shot key diode instead of wire. It will be good if you would solder a small capacitor like 300 microfarads, but remember the polarity. Wrong polarity will make a small explosion of your capacitor. If you use a diode, also remember the polarity, otherwise it will block your current. After soldering, put your PCB to battery cover and use a wire zipper to protect your cable inside the cover. Outside you can make a loop of wire or use a dedicated lock accessories. Remember to make a hole for a wire. The best way to glue the cover is used to polymer glue. I recommend this.
and voila, it's working. To check what is the voltage across camera pins, please run application called EOS MSG. It shows level of your battery voltage. Mine shows 800%, so it's perfectly safe. It's better to have less than 100. I want to say also about some cool features of Canon DSLRs. If you have Android phone or tablet, you can use it to control your camera and even duplicate your live view screen to your tablet. All you need is OTG cable and application from Android store. Good quality of preview on tablet screen gives you a full control of your footage.